product that you want to sell online, well, my guest today just might have the answer for you. Hello, I'm Shannon Skinner, and this is Extraordinary Women TV. Well, my guest today is Catherine Haig. She is the co-founder of ShopLocket, a very cool platform that helps you sell your products online quickly. Now, you'll meet her in a moment later in the segment. Before we take a break, I'll have my regular Good to Know Minute when I ask my guests for their top success tip. And you're going to hear Catherine's. Well, Catherine Haig, it is so nice to have you here today. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Now, you are, first and foremost, a very young entrepreneur. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I'm 21, um, but I've been, you know, involved in startups and entrepreneurship since I was 16. So at a 16 year old, you really are very young and people notice it much more. At this point, I feel like it's been, you know, six years and I feel like a veteran at 21, which is a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> so you're 16 and you have your first idea of, of being a business woman. I mean, what were you doing at 16? Uh, at 16, I was doing career counseling, which was interesting. It was just yeah. literally for my friends that were graduating a year later from me from high school. And then I started um, planning a lot of events for young entrepreneurs in the city, um, really just getting to know all the cool people and all the things going on and started my own consulting and, and marketing. So you got that sort of in your blood, like, oh my God, the, you know, I really want to make this happen. I've got great ideas and I know I can make them happen uh, right mm. from an, an early start. Yeah, I'd say when I was, you know, nine years old was when I knew that I'd be starting my own thing. Eventually I would do everything from, you know, garage sales to making cards to doing fashion startups. This is when I was like 14 and always dragging my mother along for the ride. Um, and it wasn't really until I met other entrepreneurs that I realized this is not just something I'm interested in. There's a whole community of people that are there to support you um, when you're out there starting a company. So you're 21 and you've co-founded ShopLocket. This is a company that's in its, its early stages. Um, but up to this point now, I mean, have you failed at anything yet? I mean, that is really important. You hear entrepreneurs saying you haven't really succeeded until you failed, but have you failed yet? I mean... At 21. I've, like I've said, I mean, I've started many different things over the past, you know, five to 10 years and I'm not doing them right now. So they haven't really panned out. Um, but it, all throughout the way you meet incredible people, you learn how to interact with co-founders, with, uh, you know, contractors, with partners, and it teaches you a lot of lessons. And it wasn't, I'd say this is the first time I've really set out to start a company, to build something from the ground up, something very, very large. And all of the things that I've done before have just really helped me get to the point that I feel that I'm ready to really make that commitment. Uh, to this company. So Catherine, then what is ShopLocket? So ShopLocket makes it extremely easy for people to start selling online. The idea being that you don't necessarily need to set up a full storefront just because you want to sell one product. Maybe you can get started selling from a blog post or from your website or, you know, email a link out to all your friends, but still have it look professional more so than, you know, selling something on Craigslist or eBay and really have it custom to your brand uh, and get started in less than two minutes. Well, so, okay, so, but, so how does it work then? Like, take me through, through the steps. Yeah, so you just sign up. You can either connect your Facebook account or you just add your email address. And then you're walked through creating a product. So you name it, you write a quick description, you decide what style you want your product to look like when it's actually embedded on your site. And then you publish it and automatically you're able to just embed it like you'd embed a YouTube video anywhere that you want to start selling. Well, I know you've got a little video, mm -hmm. a little how-to. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is welcome to ShopLocket. Let's, let's play it. It's a short one and I think it's very cute. Let's say you make some t-shirts. They're awesome and you want to sell them online. But how are you going to do it? Set up an online store? Ongoing fees? Set up time? Shopping carts? Talk about complicated. You're just selling some t-shirts. Quick alternatives, while easier, just don't seem professional. These may be t-shirts, but they aren't your ex's t-shirts. With ShopLocket, selling a single product is finally as easy and social as it should be. Simply create your product and embed it anywhere, just like a YouTube video. No storefront, no upfront fees. ShopLocket. Create, share, sell. Okay, that's a great little video. I mean, it really, really does sort of walk you through it, doesn't it? 
Yeah, that was a lot of fun to put together. I mean, yeah, it looks like it I did branding and marketing for so many other people's companies uh, when I had my own consulting work. And to get the time and the resources to focus on putting together what I've always imagined and always wanted to do has been a lot of fun with ShopLocket. Was that your voice in the video? It's not. It's actually, I think we paid $200 for someone and people, you know, they actually audition to get that role. It's really interesting. There's a lot of websites out there to help you do things like that on a very low budget. Okay. So give me an idea. If I have a book, mm -hmm. um, how does it work if I want to sell through ShopLocket? So you just go on to ShopLocket, you create your account. Um, so you just name your book. So my amazing book, you say how many are available. If you have a hundred available, you'll set the price. Uh, right now you can either connect to your PayPal account or another payment provider called Stripe. And then you just publish it and you can, I mean, you have a great blog, so you'd be able to just embed that directly into any of your blog posts. Or if you don't have a blog or don't have a website, you can just share that on your Facebook page. You can email it around to friends. And if you do have a friend that has an active blog, you can just give them the embed. And just like they'd embed a video, they can now embed your product as well. So what's, what really makes ShopLocket then uh, really unique? I'd say that the most unique part of it is that, you know, you don't need to take two weeks to two months to de design something in order to start selling online. You can literally get started in a couple minutes, you know, try different things out, see if there's a market for what you're producing. And a lot of things that are maybe living in trunks or living in closets right now can actually get out there uh, and people can start buying them. Well, I think that that's a really great um, idea. The name, how would you come up with a name? Uh, so shoplocket.com had become available about a week before I started looking for it. Um, so it really just, uh, we paid $10 to the domain, it ended up working out really well. And the idea was just became, you know, this little locket, this little enclosed thing that you can, you know, take around and have your product in. Um, so it just really fit well with the concept. And we were thrilled that it's available because it's very hard to find, you know, names that are out there right now. So. Now we have a couple of pictures too of your, you've got your partner. Yes. Um, and uh, I know we've got them um, lined up. And then there's another picture of, uh, of uh, a frame. <laughs> Which, yes. standing in a frame. <laughs> What's the story behind that? Uh, so the picture frame that you have the photo of is actually our most successful product on ShopLocket right now, uh, which has been really interesting for us to see. It's a company called Nations Photo Lab. They're based in the States. Um, they have about 40,000 Facebook fans and they have an online store, but they like doing special promotions where they'll give discounts or they just want to do a featured product. And they'll use us to create that really quickly and market it to their Facebook fans. And we decided we wanted to have one the picture frames in the office. Uh, so that's the picture frame. It's a lot of fun. So how did you get this thing off the ground? Um, it's the kind of thing that really we were able to try a lot of things before knowing what the idea was. So I'd already worked a lot of developers. I already you know, knew the guy that ended up making our video, the designer that ended up doing all of our branding. So things were able to come together very quickly. One of my good friends gave us a very small angel investment at the very beginning, which really helped us get through the three months that Took, it took to get us to launch and we were able to get a little bit of buzz going at our launch and then went through an accelerator um, that helps startups grow over a period of three months. Um, so it's been just so much support from the community and you know, great friends that I'd met over the years really helping out. Well, this is uh, just a really intriguing uh, business. Now, Catherine, we're going to take a quick break and that means it's my good to know minute. And I know you've got a great success tip. My success tip uh, is that people build their network before they need it. Um, so the idea being, you know, when you need investors, when you need developers, when you need someone to help you make a video, it's really hard to build all of those relationships from the ground up. You have to have the people in place so that things can move really quickly. So go out to events, go meet people, go build relationships, and they'll be there when you actually need them. Well, that's good to know. Well, thank yeah. you for that. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, more with Catherine Haig, co-founder of ShopLocket. So please stay where you are. Welcome back to the show. I'm Shannon Skinner, and I'm speaking with Catherine Haig, who is the co-founder of ShopLocket, uh, a very cool online way of selling your products. Now, Catherine, um, you worked as uh, a media, independent media digital consultant yeah. um, for a while. Uh, let's talk about that kind of work and, and how you brought that to what you're doing now at ShopLocket. Yeah, so it really started because I was planning a lot of events and there were lots of very large companies that were sponsoring the events that we were planning. 
And I started getting better relationships with these companies. And, you know, what is someone going to trust an 18, 19 year old with? It started out being student campus marketing. Um, so I got a bunch of different contracts um, doing student marketing. I'd put together campus teams across Canada. Um, we'd help get the word about brands out, run contests. Um, so I was able to build up a lot of credibility with large brands very early on um, because they would tr trust my expertise in, in that area. Um, and then from there, I was able to build out on, on those contracts to then start, you know, not only doing exclusively student campaigns, I'd start doing more, um, you know, online and social media, um, which was a bunch of great companies, a company called The Lunch Lady, which actually delivers lunches to about a thousand schools across Canada and ran their communications for a long time. Um, so it's just been really interesting to get, you know, in at the ground level and, you know, what makes something take off, make, make something viral, what make, makes people talk about it. Um, so that was a great learning experience for me. And so then you brought that experience into Shoplock. How many mm -hmm. um, customers? Do, I know that you're you're new and you're just yeah. rolling out now, but um, can you say how many? Yeah, right now we have almost seven thousand sellers on the system, wow. uh, and that's just in the ten weeks since we opened up. So it's been moving really quickly, and the response has been incredible. Oh, that's fantastic! Mm -hmm. um, what is it about startups that you love so much? I like the uncertainty. I like the idea that I can, you know, have this thing that only exists in my mind and, and create it. And it's going to fail or succeed based on my merit, based on my ability to pull things together and recognize opportunities and pivot quickly and um, decide, you know, where there's a need and how we can fill it and, and grow something from there. And, you know, even just so far, we're still very early on, but knowing that we went from nothing to now helping all of these new businesses get started is just really gratifying for us. Do you, I mean, what is self-worth? How does this play into it? I mean, do you do anything special to go through a ritual to believe in yourself enough that you can mm -hmm. pull us off? Or how do you, where, where do you find the belief in yourself that you can do it? I, I mean, I was always a very ambitious person. I, when I was, um, about 10, I started doing rhythmic gymnastics and I did national level gymnastics until I graduated from high school when I was 17. And I used to be so terrified to go out on the carpet and, you know, would people be judging me? Would I like, I'd rhythmic, so did I drop the ball or, um, and then I got more and more confident over time competing and was able to take that into doing more public speaking and, you know, get on conversations to plan an event and convince, you know, people that used to be your idols to come, you know, join in with your event. And you realize very quickly that, you know, the more you do, the more you realize you can do and you can take on. And it really just has been experience and, you know, realizing that I can have something as an idea and actually make it happen. And that builds your confidence over time. You know, during the break, we were talking uh, about, um, of course, the fact that you are a young entrepreneur mm -hmm. and that you have some advice or some tips that you can give um, other entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs who are starting, want to be successful in business. So let's talk about those. Yeah, I'd say the first big thing is, you know, just get out there, start talking to people that you admire and see what they did and how they got there. Um, there's an incredible startup community here in Toronto, um, whether it's, you know, events like Demo Camp, where you can go and see all the cool startups, or um, there's startup drinks where you can go meet with all the entrepreneurs. Um, you know, get out there, you know, see what people are working on. But then also don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Go work with a startup, go work for someone you admire, see the, you know, mechanics of how their company works and that's why consulting was so great for me I was able to see so many different companies uh, and the idea is not going to just sort of you know hit you in the face and all of a sudden you have this idea it's going to come from you know working through a problem and really seeing this opportunity to make someone else's life better and that's where most great ideas will come from and so get out there mm -hmm. um, and then what else would you say uh, and then I'd say you know don't be afraid of failure it's okay. going to happen a lot. Yeah. Um, and I mean, even just in the course of shop lock it, I mean, there's probably 20 people a day that will say no or say it's not going to work or all of these different things. And you just have to, you know, have the confidence that you're going to make it work and you'll be able to take feedback and, you know, build upon it. But you can't be discouraged when someone tells you, you know, this is stupid. It's not going to work. It's not the right thing to do. Do you ever take it personally when somebody says no to you? I mean, you, you I mean, hear you business, they say it's, it's not yeah. personal, it's not personal. <laughs> I often think, how can it, of course, it's you. Yeah. So and 
it's hard. I mean, it feels personal. It, it, everything does feel personal and you just have to really learn how to cherish the high points um, because the lows will happen a lot. And, you know, it's a long slog to build a company. Um, but, you know, good things happen. Customers will email you and be thrilled that they have your product to work on. You know, you'll find that investor, that person that believes in you. And you just have to really take that and, you know, celebrate it with your team, celebrate it by yourself, because those are the kind of things that will get you through the times where, you know, everyone's telling you it's not going to work. Okay. So, uh, get up there. Uh, yeah. don't, um, fear failure, yeah. which is, I think where m many people get caught up. Um, anything else? Um, I'd mind? say that, you know, surround yourself with people that compliment you really well. Um, I'm not a developer. I have a little bit of, you know, development background just from trying to learn but my co-founder is amazing he's you know, an incredible cto and being able to balance each other out i'm a lot more sort of big picture i love marketing i love that side of things and he's a lot better at you know detail-oriented product focused uh, technology and without him like we would be nowhere so surround yourself with the right people that can balance out your personality and your skills well, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Now, was there anything about Shop Bucket um, that we've not touched on um, just in this last minute before we wrap? Uh, I really think that, you know, it, in a nutshell, it's, it's meant to be simple, right? The idea is, you know, get started in less than two minutes. And it's something that seems like such an obvious problem. Like one product it should be so easy to sell. And we want to, you know, make that the truth. We want it to be just as easy to, to share that product as it is to share a video like this one. <laughs> well, that's really fantastic. And, you know, Catherine, I'm so glad that you were here today to um, share your story. Uh, congratulations mm -hmm. for being a young entrepreneur at 21 and just going for it and, and making it happen. And, and uh, I'll be very keen to watch your progress and I uh, wish you all the best. So thanks again. And, uh, um, and you know, best of luck with Shop Locket. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And oh, of course, if anyone wants to go to Shop Locket, where, yeah. where can they find you on the website? Shoplocket.com. Easy, shoplocket.com. Yeah. <laughs> well, for more information about Catherine Haig and Shop Locket, of course, you can visit my website at extraordinarywomentv.com where you will see this interview, her bio, and other information about Catherine. Uh, and if you are interested in more information about upcoming guests, past guests, then I invite you to check out the website where you'll find out more information about me. Um, follow me on Twitter uh, as well. And, uh, and, and send me an email. Anyway, if you are interested in transforming your life, I hope this story has inspired you. You've been watching Extraordinary Women TV. I'm Shannon Skinner. See you soon.